Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USDJPY, US dollar Japanese yen for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD, Gold, USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the 4 hour chart of USD JPY in front of us right now and as you can see that the last traded price of the USD JPY is 109.68 and if we look at the chart of USD JPY then we can easily see that this is not a simple market or a beautiful market. This is a choppy market full of confusion messed up chart. There should not be any doubt about it okay. because there is no proper trend present in the market. We do not see any proper trend here. Okay. And right now, if we just observe this particular portion of the chart here, then we can see that it resembles the symmetrical triangle pattern. Generally, I do not talk much about triangle patterns or any patterns, but in this case, I can resemble this particular portion of the chart with the symmetrical triangle pattern. And previously, you can see that it was following this trend line as a support because you can see that whenever market is coming down, it was taking support at this particular trend line. But on uh, on Friday, okay, on Friday, as we all know, after the NFP report, dollar witnessed heavy selling pressure. This is a chart of US dollar, and when dollar saw selling pressure then USD JPY also witnessed some selling pressure and as a result it failed to it failed to hold this trend line as a support and ultimately close below the trend line okay but looking at the looking at the overall messiness in the chart of USD JPY i'm saying that there is still a possibility that market will be going up from here why for that we need to understand the importance of importance of 109.75 level if you have watched my other videos on USC JPY then you can easily recognize this level because I have been talking about this level for last three four months I guess <laughs> because 109.75 is the most crucial level on the chart of USD JPY because uh, because if you go to the weekly chart here and I if I remove the drawings you can see that for a long time this level is acting as a very important level for the market here for more than two months it was acting as a resistance for the market and when market crossed this particular level in the month of june july the same level became the support for the market you can see that since july since first week of july the usd jpy is witnessing heavy selling pressure from above okay each and each and every candle signifies one week here then you can see that whenever market is pushing the price downside somehow this level is providing support to the market you can see that each and every candle has witnessed selling pressure from above but market has somehow managed to close at the level at the support or somehow above the support somehow market is still respecting uh, or somehow market is still managing to hold its position at the support level and this is the main reason why this level is important for the market okay. so you have understood right now i guess so let's get back to the four hour chart so on monday there is a possibility that market will be again recovering or will be going above this trend line again or will market will try to regain its position above this level at least okay and if we look at the chart of dxy here we can see that after this heavy fall for the last couple of days dxy us dollar has also um, managed to take support at this particular level and on monday there is a good possibility that us dollar will also be try to go up or at least try to recover okay and if us dollar starts going up from here then definitely usd jpy will be going going up because when dollar goes up usd jpy goes up when dollar goes down usd jpy goes down so if dollar starts going up from here on monday or at least try to show some recovery then we will see some good buying on the usd jpy as well so what should be a strategy for monday then okay you can go for buy okay you can easily go for a buy if you if market 
somehow regain its support or if market starts trading above this level 109.75 level on Monday you can go for buy just make sure that you wait for at least four hours or you just make sure that you just consult the chart of DXY if you see that US dollar is also going up then only go for buy at the chart of USD JPY or at least wait for four hours at least and just make sure that market is trading comfortably above this level because we should protect ourselves from false breakouts market is full of false breakouts to protect yourself from false breakout to protect your hard-earned money to protect your account balance and capital you must wait you must wait for the confirmation so if market starts trading also above this level wait for four hours at least then only go for buy and in a symmetrical triangle pattern like this uh, generally it is believed that market will cross this level but this level is quite far away from the current market price so possibility is less but there is a possibility that it will be crossing this line or this resistance in the future but on Monday let the market cross this level first let the market regain its lost support previous support <laughs> As of now, this line is no longer required. Yeah. And as I've already mentioned uh, during the opening speech, <laughs> that the chart of USD JPY is very messed up, very confusing. So if you are a beginner, okay, listen to me carefully. If you are a beginner, if you cannot afford to lose any money right now, then please avoid USD JPY. Please avoid. Yes, you have heard me right. Please avoid USD JPY. This chart is not a sweet chart, easy chart. So there are other currency pairs like euro usd gbp usd where the chart is clean chart is simple and easy to understand you can trade on pairs like that okay you should not invest your hard-earned money you should not risk your hard-earned money on a chart like this if you are an experienced trader if you have been trading for the last couple of years and if you are aware with uh, risk management position sizing then you can think about taking a position here but if you are a beginner completely new so please avoid karo. please avoid USD JPY right now <sighs> so this is it hopefully you have understood if you have uh, liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you on Monday again bye bye